I'm delighted now to be joined by uh, Dr. Mark Fisher, who is editor-in-chief of uh, Stroke. Uh, Dr. Fisher, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time. Must be a busy conference for you. Uh, yes. <laughs> Tell us a I little have bit. Many of... things I have to do here. <laughs> I bet. Tell us a little bit about uh, Stroke. Well, uh, as I'm sure most of the people who are watching us know, uh, Stroke is uh, the leading journal in the cerebrovascular field. Uh, we publish uh, many different types of articles, a lot of articles, uh, and we have a, a wide uh, visibility and impact uh, among people who work and practice in the, in the stroke field. And how do you go about selecting articles for a publication? Well, uh, the articles go through what, what's called a peer review process. So uh, the authors submit their paper, um, it's, it's, it's assigned to one of the senior editors, um, uh, which there are seven of us. So I'm the editor-in-chief, and I have a vice editor, uh, Karen Fury, and five associate editors. So one of us is uh, responsible for, in quotes, handling that paper. And so what we do is, we, the person who's responsible takes a look at the paper, and there's three choices at that point. If we don't think it's very good at all, we can just reject it at that point without a formal review. If we're not really sure, we can send it for what we call triage, where a, 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 a second person looks at it who has expertise related to the, to the article submitted, and they, they give us feedback of whether they don't think it's very good uh, or not gonna really have a chance to make it, and then it gets rejected, or they can say, yeah, I think it's reasonable and we should send it out for formal review. So I would say almost 50% of the papers that we get go either into the reject without review group or, or triage, and then a little over 50% we send out for formal review. Okay. And, and so that then goes to at least two um, reviewers who have expertise related to the manuscript, sometimes three, sometimes a statistical review, uh, we get the feedback from the reviewers, and then we make a decision. Uh, and then ultimately, the papers that are handled by one of the associate editors, I have to approve all decisions. So I look at the reviews, and I look at um, what the decision is, and perhaps the paper if I need to, and then I either agree or disagree with the decision. But most of the time, I would say 95% of the time, I agree with what the handling editor has decided. What are some of the? I mean, do, what are some of the uh, topics that you're seeing coming up now? What are some of the trends? Well, the, the, this journal is meant to encompass the whole right. field, and so we take papers. Uh, about 15% of the papers that we receive, and a little slightly higher than that percentage that we accept are uh, basic science papers which are preclinical and uh, we don't we don't actually take basic science papers that are just cell or in vitro work they have to involve whole animals 85 percent of the papers that we receive uh, are, are clinical in one way or another and they run the whole gamut of the stroke field uh, from epidemiology genetics uh, prevention of stroke, acute therapy, imaging, rehabilitation, outcomes, healthcare policy. We really have a big tent and we're trying to be all encompassing. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking time to talk to us.